The next thing is going to be our quick shot. In the quick shot, we have different types. We have drone, we have rocket, we have circle, we have helix, we have boomerang, and we have asteroid. I'm going to show you an example of all the different types right here so you can see exactly what they look like. So the first one that we have in the list is the droney, and the droney is just going to kind of stay on you and then eventually move back. So I'm going to get around here to framing this and then I'm going to click on it and you can see there's a little plus sign that shows up on top of me. I can tap on that and then here I have my rectangle so it picked me up and it, it knows who I am, it knows it's a person, which is pretty cool. Then here I can find my distance, whatever distance I want. Now I don't want to go too far just because uh, I'm over a golf course and Three, I don't want to go flying over two, a bunch of people, one. So uh, although there's no one around. So, and then I'm going to push that button right here and then there you go. It's going to start. You can see the percentage on the side. I have my fingers on the control making sure everything is good and uh, as it's flying back just always keep looking around. It's going to keep you right in the center. Now it kind of lost me but it still knows where I am and then when it's done it's going to create the video and uh, there you go and it's going to eventually come back. It says returning on the side so it's slowly coming back and it's going to basically go back to the starting point and here you can see the final product recorded. There are no edits. This is just pure straight from the, uh, the card. Obviously you could do some edits. I'm going to do some more in the future on the other footage. But here you can just see how smooth it is and, and uh, just the final result. Then we have the rocket. You can tap right here on rocket. Again you have the little distance. You can tap on the plus button, click start and then it's going to start counting. And then it's going to do its little rocket thing which is basically climbing right on top of you and uh, going at whatever altitude you pre-selected. And so you'll see here just going to keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. This is one of my favorite areas to fly right here. Just a really neat area around a lake near where I live. So said we were going to go to 110. So we're almost there. It actually went a little bit higher, 122, but uh, then it's coming back down. I sped that up. It's a little bit faster than normal, but here's the final footage. And I did a little edit here in the middle. I made it go faster in the middle. The next thing is going to be our circle. So you have to find your spot right here in the circle. You can see you have the arrows to go left or right. And then you're going to select that. I'm selecting that rock right in the middle right here. Three, and then push start. Two, Three, two, one. one. And then it's just going to start going in that direction. So. Uh, again, it's going pretty slowly, um, but in this one, actually, what happened is that I wasn't sure from where I was standing. I was looking at it, obviously, going around, and there are trees to my left. And as I was going, I wasn't sure if I was going to hit it. The, it was tough to get the perspective, so I actually stopped it. I was going to go forward, but uh, as I went forward, any control stick that you push in this mode is basically going to... Uh, uh, stop the uh, the motion so you can't use the sticks like you do for other modes so here I just went higher to make sure I was going to clear those trees and I went a little closer just to give me that peace of mind Three, that I wasn't going to crash two, remember no side one. sensors and then I started it again so you can see here it's going to go and do the full 360 degrees all the way around now this one takes a while so I'm just going to fast forward it uh, you can see it's just going around and then I'm going to show you of what happens with the final result. Now you notice here it's slowing down at the end. It kind of lost the spot that was in the middle, but here's the final footage. Now again, I sped up the middle right here just to give it a little bit of an effect. Otherwise, you just get the footage straight up. The next one is the helix. The helix, you're going to select yourself right here in the middle, whatever you want. You Three, still have your arrows two, clockwise, counterclockwise, one. and then you can start, and then it's going to go and record going in the direction that we selected, and you can see it moving right here. And uh, I'm just looking around to make sure that there was nobody else. Thankfully, that golf course is not really busy. Um, but uh, here you can see the drone just moving around, moving around. And it's not going into uh, a perfect, it's going into a, a circle, but it's also climbing at the same time. And it's going to reveal a little bit of the background. So it's a bit more complex than just doing a, uh, an orbit around yourself. But here, let's take a look at the recorded footage. And again, I edited that piece in the middle to go a little bit faster. You can see here it's climbing and then you can reveal everything in the background. The next one is going to be our boomerang. And with the boomerang, again, select your object like you did with the other ones. Select the direction of travel. Three, and then it's going two, to go and start uh, counting. And then as soon as it starts, it's going to do that rotation. And also, it's going to go a little bit further away. 
and not doing a perfect uh, circle around us. Now be careful, don't do what I do, which is include the shadow of the drone in there. Uh, it's, it's harder to plan because you're doing a full rotation, but that's just uh, from a cinematic standpoint. I know people that are using these modes are probably not looking at uh, or caring about that, that thing, but uh, here you have, I had to look for that tree, making sure it was gonna clear, but here you can see it's coming back kind of like a boomerang, a little bit closer. It's not a perfect, it's like a little bit of a potato shape on the, uh, the path that it follows. And it pretty much comes back exactly where it started, which is a, kind of a cool thing. So uh, let's take a look at what the footage looks like. This is recorded straight from the camera. I did not add any kind of, uh, of edits. Oh, no, I did add edits on this one. Yeah, I fast forwarded right here in the middle and it comes back and then there it is. So you could keep it at normal speed if you wanted. I just wanted to make it a little quicker. Next thing is gonna be our asteroid. Uh, this is my least favorite of all of them just because I think it's gimmicky, but Three, uh, that's just my personal opinion. Two, uh, keep one. using it if you like it, by the way. Don't, don't care about what I say. Um, but here, it's just gonna go backwards. And, uh, and then it's gonna, when it's done, what it's gonna do is it's gonna start recording a 360 degree to create the globe uh, that's gonna be at the end of the footage. So it climbs up, it climbs up and climbs up. Uh, make sure that you keep looking for traffic when that happens. This is far from the airport, so uh, I'm in com completely open airspace in here. But uh, here you can see it's going to start taking pictures, and it's doing a full 360 pano. So here it's taking one, and then it's taking a picture at the bottom, and then it's going to do another one here. And it basically just keeps going around and taking shots uh, all the way around the area so you can see exactly... Uh, when you're done, it's going to look like a, a little sphere, a little uh, Earth planet. Um, I mean, I guess it is a pretty okay, cool effect. But uh, this is the same process, by the way, that the drone follows when it does a 360. Um, and you'll see that in the next video. When we start doing panoramics, then uh, this is what's going to happen. And so here it basically comes back towards you. So this actually takes a little bit of time to complete this whole thing. And then uh, it comes back down. And uh, I'm, I'm going back to my bag here because I was done uh, testing all of this. But uh, it's going to go back to where it started when you were uh, at the beginning. And then uh, we can go ahead and take a look at uh, this right here. Here's the footage and what it looks like. I edited, I didn't edit anything here. This is straight from the uh, camera. It speeds it up by itself and then it creates this effect right here. I guess what I don't like about it is that the fact that it ends as a square and not as a 16.9 format.